Hi friends, today at Light Trip Traveling we are in um, Wolfenschanze, this is Wiltschanjetz, located in Masurian Forest near Gerwasch. First, I will tell you about the impression that I have when I visit this place. It was in 2017, in August. Mm, so, when you enter, when you walk through through the gate and you are going to the to the main area, it's 150 meters probably, and when you see the first bunker, it's my impression was okay, two things. So the first uh, was a German work, <laughs> as we call it. So they built it almost 70 or 80 years ago. Yes, but the construction, the heavy walls, two meter wide, uh, uh, perfect located rooms enters uh, guard windows um, perfect mate uh, ventilation and so on and so forth so this doesn't matter as if it's it, if it was it was made because of the war and so bad thing but the impression of the construction this is what hit me at the beginning and the second thing is uh, the the power of the of the bombs or or of of the uh, of destroying the things because they made it in 1944 they decided to to ruin this and uh, the stones are everywhere yes the bunkers are almost completely des completely destroyed so so uh, you know when when you put some fire or 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 some you see some grenade put it on the stone it hurts him nothing yes and here the bunkers with the walls of 2 meter wide they are completely destroyed so this hit me and and make me feel what or think what the power of the dynamite of bomb that were placed here how how big it was yes and so construction and the power of the dynamite this is the impression that they have
So, uh, shortly about the history. So, first the location. It was chosen specially because of a uh, couple of things. So, the most important things are far away from the big cities, located in forests that is not regular, so it keeps green through all year. So the bunkers were not seen by the Air Force. Um, it was uh, because of the fact that we have here a lot of lakes. The terrain is uh, almost all with a swamp. So it was a natural barrier for the for the for the army to go. So this is why this location was chosen. In 1940, um, one of the be one of the best specialists of building uh, bunkers uh, in this time, Fritz Todt, uh, got an order to build a secret fortress uh, um, that is lo that should be located near the uh, Gerwash, and he started to build it.
Of course, we have to have an imagination that this complex, this forces, is, is not only a one part. It's it's a couple of other things too. So they built an air airport near here. They built a train line. They make the road hard and so on and so forth. So they generally built a whole structure that this. Wolfenschanzer or Wilczeschaniec can exist and f and that Hitler can make a decisions from here. Generally, the forces were divided into three sections. So the the main, the, the first section, uh, there were located the bunkers of Hitler, uh, of uh, Keitel, Dietrich, and so on and so forth. Um, the second section was an army section. Uh, so where the soldiers were located and the third section uh, near the road it was a section uh, with uh, anti uh, air forces or the guards were located and so on and so forth so the terrain is huge
one more thing that I forgot to tell at the beginning, one of the most important things that I did not mention at the beginning uh, about the location. Mm, and one of the most important, uh, we remember that, that uh, the dream of Hitler was to attack uh, the Soviet Union too. And uh, Wolfenschanzes or Wilczeshanietz was planned to be the, the management or the, the main point where the orders will go when the Soviet Union will be attacked by Nazis. Because of the fact that most of the documentation was destroyed or, or is secret, we don't know what what's what's happened what happened with this. We we are not sure how many people worked here. Okay, there is someone said that it was something about six thousand or five thousand people, but by the by the thinking how big is it how 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 fast it was built what was the the structure so airport, airport uh, uh, train line uh, bunkers road many other buildings small building uh, and so on and so forth i believe that there was a thousand of workers and it is told in some uh, um, documentation of Mr. of, of, of uh, the uh, specialists. So Franz taught that uh, th there was five fifty thousand workers in the plan. Yes, but we don't know for sure how many people worked here because nothing is written.
many of of you can ask why we are saying that it was a secret. It was. It is. It is huge Sharia, a lot of huge buildings. So it should be no. Many workers work then, but German were perfect in creating a stories for the for the for the standard people. So they said that they will plant there a chemical factory, Ascania, they call it. And uh, many people, because of the fact that many train came with a lot of uh, parts and so on, believed that it is like that and it will be a, a factory there. And now a little bit about Hitler's Hitler. So we can say for sure that this was one of the most important, I think, that the most important place during the Second World War because of eight more than 800 days that the that Hitler spent here. Most of the orders uh, were sent it directly from here, not from Berlin. So this Wolfenschanze, yes, was the the management managing place during the Second World War.
someone can ask how much was it cost? How, how much? What was the price of the secretaria? Yes. So there are some documents which are telling that till the end of 1944, because the building of or constructing of of this uh, fortresses was uh, continues from 1940 till 1944 uh, and the cost of this was more than 36 million mark Deutsche Mark We have a lot of visitation here by the years. We have visitation from almost all cooperators, so from Finland, from Bulgaria, from France, from Japan, even from Romania, Slovakia, from Italy. Yes, Benito Mussolini was here a couple of times, um, and. Um, in this place uh, was taken an, uh, an attack for life uh, of Hitler. Yes, it was on the 20th of uh, July uh, 1944. It was made by Klaus von Stauffenberg. And uh, it ended with no results. Yes, it was and uh, Hitler was only small, have only a small injury, in injury, and uh, and even the same day he accept for the visit Benito Mussolini. Uh, I think for the for the second time. Yes, so.
Hitler fin finally left Wolfenschanze or Wiedrichshanietz in November 1944. This was the last. And um, in the same uh, month, yes, Kaito yes, made an order to, to destroy the forces. As I told you at the beginning, this this place makes a really huge impression. It makes the heart beat stronger and stronger uh, because of the forces that you see, because of the fact that you can imagine how strong is the the force of a dynamite, dynamite that that explodes during the destroying time of these forces is the stones are sometimes cut 20 or 50 meters away from the bunker so it was the force was tremendous except that you have a, a, a this huge area and the history of this you feel it by yourself you can walk through the bunkers you can okay not all places are are, are free to go because it's still very dangerous but but you can touch it you can feel it you can show it to to children to anyone else uh, you can you, okay you have a lot of visitation you you have guests uh, from all over the world yes what is what is it? my feeling, or bad feeling? There are more people from from other countries than from Poland, but but doesn't matter. If you are near, yes, or if you have a time to go there, to see, to feel, to 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 think uh, how big the 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 bad Nazis was and why they fight with anyone uh, this is the wonderful place to go wonderful place to visit and i really really ask you or beg you to go there and see it once in a lifetime
thank you. <laughs> this is, was an, another walk or trip, light trip with me. Thank you for, for being with me and see you next time at Light Trip Traveling.